Good morning, cruises. Uh, I thought I'd talk to you about the uh, ceremony of the keys, which I definitely should have already talked about, but kind of got behind. Anyway, so before I even left to come to London, I started getting emails from co-workers uh, just to kind of keep me in the loop and get me up to speed on what was happening. And one of them was from a woman named Donna who said, hey, we're going to be all doing this thing, and it's kind of really hard to get into. Uh, I know you don't know exactly when you're going to be here, but we're going to do it on April 1st. Do you want me to put your name on the list? And I said, I would love to be there, but since I can't guarantee I'm going to be there April 1st or not, uh, what do you think? And she said, well, we can always drop your name off. No big deal. I was like, okay, great. So I put my name down and then come early March when I, or sorry, or February when I found out, yes, I was going to be there early March. So I would definitely be there by early April. I called Donna back and, and said, yes, I'm definitely going to be there. And she said, okay, here's what you need to know. It's this incredibly tightly kept uh, ceremony. It's um, at least a 12 to 18 month wait to try to get in. Uh, you have to wear a suit. You have to wear dress shoes on and on all this list. So I said, no problem. So I made sure I packed my suit in my suitcase. And yeah, so that's the backstory. The actual day of the tube line that I chose to get down to the Tower of London was running late. I barely made it there on time. We were all supposed to arrive by 7.20. I think I ran up to the group at 7.22. Uh, <laughs> uh, but fortunately, we didn't actually go in until a little closer to 7.30, so it was fine. So what we did was the Yeoman Warders of the Guard, which are the people that are called beef eaters, which are the people in the uh, hat in the Instagram picture, right? The wide-brimmed, short, not a big, tall top hat. Uh, and they also have one that is a really big, tall top hat. And uh, uh, they typically wear like the bright red uh, or the black with the red trimming. Uh, the Yeoman Warders of the Guard, or beef eaters, are the segment of the Queen's personal guard that are there to protect the Tower of London. The Tower of London being a royal residence, so it does get the protection. Uh, and it is where the crown jewels are kept, so it definitely gets that protection. Um, to be a yeoman warder of the guard, you must be retired army, air force, or navy and have like a good conduct service medal and at least like 25 years of service and attain the rank of, I, I don't recall it all, but effectively we are talking about the longest serving, most devoted to crown and country people. And then they also, on top of that, have to be very well spoken, uh, interesting to talk to, love to learn the history. So our guy gave us a incredible walking tour of the tower, which anybody can get an incredible walking tour of the tower. But so we did this incredible walking tour of the tower with him. He shows you, you know, Trader's Gate and talks about like three queens of England who were beheaded and shows you where, you know, like the actual history of the country happened, you know, and it, it was where the kings and queens of England lived for a long period of time before they built any other uh towers, palaces, and it, it, he gives an incredible, incredible presentation, but also because you're going late at night and there's nobody coming after you, he can take a little bit more time, so he showed us, like, this was a fortress. Before it was just a, a place where they kept the crown jewels, before it was a place where the kings and queens, it was a fortress built to withstand military might, so... He showed us like these areas that are ambush points and, and built into this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old castle ambush points that can kill a hundred men. And it was just amazing to hear him talk and tell these stories. He knows the history of the tower. He knows the history of the country. He knows the history of the people who died here. 
Um, so he shows you all around, and then, again, because it's the late night and the last night, we've got special permission, we go into the church that is there. It is a royal church. It is one of the churches that the queen can go. Um, he showed us the seat that she sits in. Um, and also told us the story of what they found there. There were, after, you know, various... Um, deconstructions, reconstructions, uh, constructions uh, of the uh, of of the church, and it needed to get refurbished and whatnot. They took out the floor and found just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bodies that had been buried in the church, uh, unmarked. Uh, they packed them all up and gave them a, a decent burial in uh, ostuary next door uh, he also found so that was in like the main section of church then in the uh, you know where the uh, up where the priest and the ceremony of the church actually takes place um, they found the he, he knows the number and I've forgotten it but it was like around 75 uh, traitors to the crown who had been uh, that were noblemen right these were the the nobles who had betrayed the crown over the last thousand years, who had been marched up the hill, beheaded, their bodies carried back and buried here, their heads put on pikes on London Bridge. And uh, so they, they knew who those who that group of people were. And then further on, they, they when they removed where the altar is, they found the, the bodies of three women and and those were the three queens of england i mean they they know this they are aware of this uh and we got to talk about all of that um he walked us back out we walked past the original white tower like the the inner fortress uh and then we went to the keys which is the personal pub of the yeoman warders who live and work in the tower of london the yeoman warders of the guard are locked in at night when they accept this job, which is kind of a post-retirement job, um, they are locked in at night, and so on premise there, along with, with all of them, is their doctor and their priest and their bar, their pub, right? So it's called the Keys. We got to go in. We got to drink at the private cash-only uh, pub of the Yeoman Warders of the Guard. We took place in. We we, we took part in a uh, charity raffle. Uh, I did not win anything in the charity raffle, but it felt good. I think our group um, ended up donating about four hundred pounds um, uh, to charity, uh, and then we got walked to actually witness the ceremony of the keys. The ceremony of the keys is uh, they call it the longest unbroken military. Um, ceremony in the world so legitimately for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years every night at the same time they perform the same ritual action where they uh, take the keys and the yeoman order of the guard who locks the door goes and gets his escort uh, his escort comes with him they walk down to the outer gates they lock the outer gates they come to the inner gates they lock the inner gates they walk a little closer in and then they are confronted by an armed guard who uh, as part of the ceremony uh, confronts them demands to know who they are and what they're doing there uh, they announce that they are the keys whose keys the queen's keys there's this call and response that we were watching live happen like right there in front of you a ceremony that has taken place over hundreds and hundreds of years no pictures no video no audio recording allowed it's never been and they're watching to make like there are other armed guards throughout making sure that you're not uh, breaking that tradition and then they walk them through the gate actually right through where the ambush point was that he mentioned where they could kill 100 men and so then you all like follow quickly behind that in a, in a large group where they then present the keys to like the full 
group of armed soldiers who are guarding the tower that night. Uh, they all salute the keys. Uh, we all, you know, they lift in the hat, God save Queen Elizabeth, amen. And then they play um, last post, which is what they play in England rather than taps. Uh, it's a lot longer than taps, but it's their very honest memorial of all those who have died, those who have died protecting the tower, protecting England. Um, they, they mentioned a couple of names specifically of uh, people who had worked at the tower who had died by terrorist attack in the UK recently. Um, and it was just, it was an incredible thing. And then they march away and we got to go back to the bar for another round. Um, so there was a, another group that you could tell they were just brought in to watch the ceremony of the keys. That is something that you can sign up for and do. And it's a smaller group. Uh, you don't get to go to the pub, uh, but you do get walked around by a yeoman warder and whatnot. Ours was a larger group because we were uh, part of work. So it was about uh, 80 of us. But it was a really amazing ceremony, and it was something that I'm glad that I'm part of an organization that could set that up in advance uh, so that I could be a part of it because trying to uh, get yourself on a list and get there and whatnot uh, must be very difficult, but it is an incredible experience, and it was awesome. So that's my story of the Ceremony of the Keys.